Times Influence. Can you miss a cast like that? That's a tough shot. You know, I was the best fielder of my college. That's but because of this business thing, I couldn't pursue my cricketing career. But our son, he will become a cricketer for sure. Like seriously, Deepak? I don't believe it. You can bring out the topic of kids from anything and everything. Hats off to you. And your hospital will always be there to divert us from that topic. Hello. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah. Last ball. Last ball. Catch, 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 yeah. catch. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Mumbai, Mumbai. Harsho, get me one paratha, please. Get a paratha for yourself, please. A fine piece of fielding. I know it's your day, beta. I remember my champ is going to be performing first time on the stage, huh? I promise I'll be there before your performance starts. Yes. Love you. Hey, what are you doing here? Come on. I know you are super busy, but that doesn't mean you could forget things at home. Hmm? Yes, it's a chair. <laughs> How can you be a good surgeon if you keep forgetting things? To remember important things, one has to forget less important things. By the way, what have you got for me? Since I was free, so I just prepared your favorite kheer. Mm -hmm. I haven't used sugar, just dates. Ah. What happened? Our anniversary? <laughs> your birthday. My birthday? I'm sorry, I... I messed it again. It's just a regular Wednesday. Uh, I was getting bored, so, so just thought of surprising you. You know, a date with you. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take a round and come back. We'll eat it together. Hmm? 
Doctor, he started coughing. At first we thought it's a regular cold or something, but then he didn't stop crying. We took him to our family doctor, and they put him on to some medications, but nothing helped. The condition has just worsened. Yeah. And he's been just vomiting since then. Yes. Please calm down and tell me since how many days is he coughing? I think three to four days. It's been six to seven days. Do not worry. Please calm down. Calm down. Please, doctor. Please come, come. Can you hold the baby still? <laughs> doctor, what happened? One second. <laughs> doctor, ma'am, you have to check the baby. Doctor, he's vomiting blood. Doctor, please don't panic. Let he's me see. Yes. He's vomiting blood. Doctor. Let's check. Let's check. One second. Please save my baby. <laughs> Please save our baby. Get him to the radiology. Uh, get an X-ray done. Try to cajole the baby, and we may need to sedate him if he doesn't cooperate. Okay? Hurry up, please. Ma'am, you need you to need go with him. We need to do an X-ray of the kid. Okay. Sir, please, please go to the radiology. We'll update you soon when we can. Sir, please. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Who is available for a pediatric consult? I'll have to go and check. Please find out. Yes. yes hurry up. Other reports ready? Yes, sir. So, Mr. Rajan has agreed for the operation, huh? Yeah, finally. Hmm. But how do you know that? Oh, wait. You know of every patient by now. Isn't it? Uh, let me prep up for the operation. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Thanks, see. Thank you. Bye. Oh my God. Sister, are the cassette forms ready? Yes. Where is Dr. Sahani? Is she ready? All right, let's go. What is it, doctor? Sir, ma'am, we need to do an endoscopy of a baby. Because there's a safety pin stuck in the esophagus. Safety, safety pin? pin? Yes. How is it possible, doctor? Keep bullshit. How can we do this to our baby? How can he get a safety pin in his stomach? Please get a hold of yourself. It's not in the stomach. It's still stuck in the esophagus. The food pipe. That's what's causing the blood with the vomiting. But. He would be fine, doctor, right? Yes, ma'am. He will be. We just need to do the endoscopy. How can you neglect your own child? Sir, this is not the time for this. Please sign the consent forms so that we can start the procedure immediately. All right? Sister. Yes, one over there. Come on, keep bold. One on the next page, please. Rajan is critical. Keep me posted on his vitals for next 12 hours. I'm rushing into another surgery. Careless. Yes. Yes. I told you to stay at home. What's going on? If you can't take care of him, just call mom. I told you, I'm sorry. This could have happened in anyone's presence. If I was home, I would have never let this happen. How could you keep such things around an eight-month-old? I never thought that this would happen. Thank God we are here.
Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm not a good mother. I know I'm not. <laughs> Come in. Hi, please come. Please sit. Don't worry, your baby is in the right hands. But it's not about the baby that I want to talk to you about. Then? It has got something to do with the both of you. Both of us. We don't understand, doctor, what it is all about. I know it's our fault. I mean, rather my fault. I should have taken proper care of my baby and not should just leave it in the hands of Nani. Yes, exactly. Go, Palo. At least now you understood why I was telling you to quit your job. How could you trust a nanny for your own child? You know all this year, I have worked so hard for my career. And you know it was so important for our family. How can you say that? And you're so selfish. I know that you are angry. What happened to Ekant? But trust me, even I am angry with myself. <laughs> I will not leave him for a second. And I will leave my job. I will quit it. Mr. and Mrs. Rai, I understand you guys are traumatized by this accident. I mean, any parent would be. No parent would want their kid to go through pain that to cause a negligence on their part. But don't be too hard on yourselves. I'm sure you and your family had your own reasons for the arrangement that you had for Ekan. But it's not wise to point fingers at each other. I think you're right, Doctor. So at this point, you don't have to turn your life upside down just because of an unfortunate accident, which we know could have happened in anyone's presence. So I would suggest you learn from this incident. Support each other. And tell your child care to pay more attention when she's around the kid of the things that are lying around your baby. So the best thing would be to put this thing behind you and take your kid and go home happily. All right? Yes, doctor. Thank you. Of course. Now take care of yourselves. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. I have to prepone this surgery for today only. Please inform Dr. Krishnamurti about it. Okay, sir. Hi. hi. Dr. Harshita, hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. You seem lost. Ah, oh, nothing. Just a cricket update from my husband. Oh, wow. A religious <laughs> cricket follower, huh? Nothing like that. My husband just wants our son to be a cricketer. What? <laughs> you have a boy? No, no, no. It's more like a future son. Oh. Uh, I guess I delivered her baby a few months ago. Why is she here? Yeah, there was a safety pin in the kid's esophagus. Okay. Who's doing the endoscopy? Dr. Murtaza is doing the endoscopy. Okay, I hope the kid's fine. Yeah, the kid will be fine. Yeah. How are you? How's the hospital treating Me? you? Me? I'm good. <laughs> and so far, so good here. Okay. See you around. Of course. Okay. Hi, doctor. Is he fine now? Yeah, he's fine. Anything else you want to ask? No, thank you, doctor. Sure. Thanks for the help. Yeah, take care. Check and mate. <laughs> Over. Finish. 
Wow, you won. Yes, absolutely. I didn't know that you played so well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now I'm just waiting to beat Dr. Krishna Murthy. Really? Yeah. We had two matches, you know, last week, and we are tied one each. The decider happens this week. Ah, that reminds me. Let me call him just to remind him. Oh, hey, Krishna Murthy, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you so much. So you remember our match coming up this week, right? The decider. Ah, yes. I hope you're not getting any sleepless night over it. Okay. <laughs> just for your information, I have beaten Dr. Sumit. Hello. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't get scared, don't get scared, please, don't get scared. The way you prepare yourself always, okay? <laughs> I'll see you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. I'll see you. Bye, bye, bye. Hi. Can I check the baby, please? Boy, hello. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be fine. Yeah. Thank you so much. Pooja, I apologize. I'm sorry. It's funny. Only when we lose or have the fear of losing someone, we realize their worth. Until then, we would happily neglect things, knowingly or unknowingly. Send me the next list. We all are busy, busy making a life, but for whom? Making a life for our son, parents, family, loved ones. But the irony is, in the making, we hurt them. We neglect them, but it's fine. If the negligence brings you closer to yourself or closer to the loved ones, I know this quote was never written for this moment, but I can say, sometimes ignorance is a true bliss. Hello, doctor. Hi. Hi. You're fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank sure? You. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Sure. Yes, Deepak. <laughs> yes, I'll get free early today. <laughs> sure, we'll go for the movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. You should receive her call. Oh, I'll call her back later. It's my mother. But what if there's an emergency? There isn't any. How would you know? Wait. I'm just gonna call her, okay? Hello, yeah. 
Yes, mom. Yes, I'm fine. No, I'm not coming on the weekend. Yes, I'm eating on time. No, I haven't spoken to dad yet. Yes, mom. Mom, I'm gonna have to call you back. Yeah, I'm busy. Okay. Bye now. See? Told you. But you didn't even let her speak. So, how would you know if she wanted to say something? Dr. Simar, relax. I know my family. We all think we do. But do we really? Excuse me. Quite a day, isn't it? Yes, indeed. How are you feeling now? Why? What happened to me? I'm perfectly all right. So, did you speak to your mother? always sad. Partnered by Times Influence.